All right, crew. I, uh, I'm definitely still in a learning phase, right? With Omniverse, Create, View, etc. <laughs> I find myself clicking a lot of different things, trying things out, and lo and behold, just don't want to wait that long for something to load, right? Um, I also just today, <laughs> before another video, tried to load Showroom and Create and View all at the same time. Just for kicks, right? Didn't like that. Mm -mm. Not my computer. So I just wanted to give you guys a like sneak peek, I guess, about what I've been doing to to combat my user error habit, right? And so you know, if I, here, let's just go ahead and try and launch create. Let's launch showroom. Let's launch view. And then let's look at our task manager while this is all happening. And keep in mind I'm recording, right? I got my GPU working for sure. My GPU was pretty hot earlier too. It was like closer to 70C. Man, it looks like everything's firing up right now. It's like perfect. It's like just when you're recording a video, right? Everything's working the way it's supposed to. Oh, here's showroom. Boom, loaded. Right? What are we trying to load here? I can't see. Uh, here's view. Okay. Promising. Where's create? Oh, okay. There's room. Create. Did I click on create? Pretty sure I did. Launch. Launching. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at the full test here, right? All three. I meant to do all three simultaneously, but it didn't. Uh, I didn't do it. I must have missed a click. And it loaded like amazing. Like this is actually pretty rad. I don't know, but here's the deal, right? I just run into um, misclicks, uh, bad imports, bad models, bad geometry. Um, partially because I'm trying to like steal all this stuff from CAD. I'm kind of gaming the system to get it in there, right? Um, there's no connector for SolidWorks yet. And so occasionally I'll find myself in uh, you know, the, the Windows spinning wheel. Um, so I decided to make a bat file just to 86, the, uh, the, uh, Omniverse processes. I also have them for Windows Explorer too, because I find even that can be a problem. It has nothing to do with Omniverse or NVIDIA by any means. It's just user error, right? And then with Windows, I don't know, Windows is just being difficult sometimes. But I just wanted to share those with you just real quick. You can copy and paste how I'm making yourself. I actually have this little menu here at the bottom. This is my... Uh, Explorer bat, and this is my Omni bat. And so if I just click on these, uh, Explorer will restart. If I click on this, Omniverse, go away. We can give this a click. Boom, runs the bat. Okay, cool. And those bat files for Explorer are exactly just this. I'll put that in the comments below. And the Omniverse bat file is this. And I'll go ahead and put that in the description as well. So the way this works is you go ahead and launch Notepad++, open up a new document, take one of those things that I've created, copy and paste the, the information here, and then file save as. Um, the only thing is you, you're gonna save this as a bat file. So uh, batch, so it's gonna be a .bat, and you can name it whatever you want. Um, test, go ahead and save it to my desktop. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Desktop, new, bad, desktop, okay. Well, and that, my friends, is what happens when dad duties trump YouTube content. But no worries, we're picking up right where we left off. Love my wife, love my kid, wouldn't change anything. But uh, yeah, getting back to the batch file, uh, you just go ahead and copy and paste that, save it as the as the .bat file, save it in the location, preferably not your desktop back. And then what you need to do is you need to make a link or an icon for it. So here's my batch file. So I'm gonna bring that over here. We're going to create a shortcut and we're going to go to properties on this. The difference is if you go to the properties for the actual bat file and not the shortcut file, you can't change anything. What I'd like to do is give it like an icon. 
So we can select change icon. And then you can select one of these paper with an X or, you know, 86, one of these things. Then you click OK. And it's looking for a new bat once you click apply, click OK. And then now you can use this in your task manager. There we go. Drag and drop it in there. And then you're good to go. And so now when you click on this icon, it's going to run this batch file, which is going to terminate Omniverse. Likewise, for Explorer, copy and paste that. Same routine. And then you're good to go. So if you, if you do have a couple of these, let's just put two of these like on here. What you can do is you can put them into a folder. And then we can call this like kill. And then in your task pane, you can go to toolbars, link a new toolbar, browse to your desktop grab kill, that's going to put it over here on this right hand side. And you unlock your taskbar, turn off the text, turn off the title, lock taskbar, and your buttons are there. From here, you could even add Omniverse if you wanted in there. You can have your Omniverse start, Omniverse stop. Very cool. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys uh, in case you, you know, wanted to create your own, or if you're running into the same sort of things that I run into, you know, just picking and clicking, making mistakes. Um, it's just the way I learn, you know, but uh, this is a shortcut for me to from having to open up task, task manager, find the process, kill it. So hopefully this helps you. Fun stuff. Uh, stay tuned for some more Omniverse videos. And as always, thanks for watching.